Hi there, and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Today we're looking at a 3D printed glider, glider fuselage. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy this. If you do enjoy it, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, it'll be much appreciated and it helps uh, other people find the channel too, as does liking the video. And uh, if you want to see more of my stuff and get notifications when they turn up, hit that notification bell. So let's crack on. So today what we're looking at is um, uh, this fuselage that I've knocked together uh, using similar principles to what I've shown before. This is actually uh, an old file that I pulled together quite a while ago. So um, just for the bright eyed amongst you, you'll notice there's an error on the timeline down here. I can't figure out what that what is, and it's not really going to um, affect your understanding of what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to leave it because I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to use this model uh, in the future. Um, so we'll go through the CAD as usual, and then I do have a printout of this um, that I printed out a while ago, and uh, we can have a quick look at that and compare the results. So let's go back to the start, and we'll quickly walk through all of this. So uh, one step at a time. So first off, I wanted to create a load of um, planes. Uh, to be able to draw the different sections on. So we go through and do all of those. So I don't know why some uh, planes come out bigger than others. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested. Uh, so then if we come through, so I'm basically creating a uh, point for the nose, point for first frame, for point uh, plane diagram for second plane. Now uh, what you can notice is these are all drawn um, with the same number of points that's to help the lofting uh, it's also they're drawn parametrically um, and I uh, figured out an equation for sort of an egg shape and that's what I've been using here um, so again using parametric data to my, try and make life easier and if you loft between um, sketches with uh, the same amount of points then the uh, lofting works a lot better um, so there we are so we have all those sketches in and i uh, as uh, previously i've done this so i can change all the all the dimensions parametrically and move that around to tweak the shape of the fuselage which i took quite a while on positioning frames in the z direction in terms of how high they are and all those sorts of things um, so then I did a loft of the nose cone, which I'm not showing because it doesn't really work. And then I started looking at, um, actually, so what I want to do, I don't know if you noticed, I had a similar thing where I cut slits in the solid. So when I 3D print them, I can use those surfaces to generate internal structure. So this is what I want to do is create a spiral structure. So you can see each of these drawings are created and you can see the spiral lines move around a little bit more on each consecutive diagram so pull that in a bit uh, so i guess you can probably make out the twist and then that's the first 3d um, sketch of what one of the cuts will look like um, and i had quite a lot of trouble with this uh, in terms of getting the these very thin bodies to work uh, to cut um, so I've thought of some other ways of doing it uh, for next time around so when I do do a fuselage it'll probably add some more so uh, basically what we've got is we've got the uh, two models here uh, two solids here generated sorry go back one um, so turn on the bodies we've got the uh, inner fuse and then I create the outer fuse and then I do a combine to take the two apart. So if we lose um, in the fuse now, you can see that I've cut out the center of the outer fuse. And if you could see through, you'd see that goes all the way through. In fact, we can show you on the back here. If it's hollow all the way through. I don't think you can actually see through. Um, Cool. There we go. So that's the initial solid. Now I'm going to go through and create um, some solids to cut the fuselage with. So here you can see the slices, and the idea is that they slice 
into that solid and create surfaces that the um, uh, 3D printing slicer uh, sees as an external surface and puts a piece of material there, puts a bead of material there. Uh, so I have to do quite a bit of mucking about to get this to work. And so there we go, and so there's the last surface. But I want um, so this these surfaces here, these need to go to just below the surface of um, the outer surface of the fuselage. So um, so basically, it'll go around the outside, and it'll come in the inside. And as it goes around the inside, it'll see each of these little cuts, and it'll nip out, create a piece of structure to bond the two together, and it'll do that. And then because these twist along the fuselage length. It'll do that along the fuselage length in a twist, which is fine. So I need to trim those um, surfaces up a bit. And so I go through and uh, cut each of those surfaces in turn. So now I have these surfaces that you can see in here that cut into the uh, main body that's the fuselage to create those pieces of structural elements. And then once I've done that, I go through and I mirror that. So now I'm getting my uh, the thing um, that is very similar to what I showed on my previous um, test piece, where I've got this spiral effect. But the spiral effect runs the whole length of the fuselage and it's proportioned to the size of the fuselage. Uh, so then it's a simple combine of those uh, combined cuts. And um, the only thing I need to do now is because at the moment this will print the outside and it'll go, well, that's the outer wall. And then it'll jump across and print the inner wall. But I don't want it to do any jumps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in the bottom here. So I just need to create a sketch to allow me to create that. Uh, and again, I just want that to cut through the just the one side of the uh, model. Um, so I can do it will go round the outside, down to here, inside, round, cut, 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 blah, blah, blah. And then I just need to extrude that out to a solid, and then I'll use that solid to cut the cut. So if I kill all the sketches now, um, kill all the sketches and all the construction, you can see now that we have this spiral affair um, whereby each of these are is a surface that's been used to create the spiral and then this is the center keel line if you like um, so this will create a spiral structure within the uh, fuselage bonding the inner outer skins and i think that's got the potential to be really quite strong so um, again we'll see how it works um, so there you go that's a quick tour through the cad um, and uh, i'll pull up the video just a short video of you to allow you to look around the, the model. So here you can see the model. So that sits sat in a pint glass. So again, it's quite a large print. Um, and uh, as you can see, the outside surface is pretty good. There's a small ridge on the outside surface where the uh, internal structure touches. Uh, so this print was done a while ago, so it's got a bit of damage on it. Uh, it's printed in PLA, so that gets really brittle when it starts getting uh, absorbing water. So you can see the internal structure there and if you look in down inside the model you can see the spiral the counter rotating spiral again and you can just see in the cavity between the two walls how the um, the structure sits and then with the light coming through you can get uh, some appreciation of how that structure flows through the body from the outside so hopefully that was um, just enough to give you an idea of how it's going i think i'm going to be doing some more work on this to try and figure out how to do it a little bit more efficiently um, so yeah thanks for watching if you do like my stuff please do like my videos and uh, subscribe uh, maybe even have a look at my website and uh, yeah if there's more stuff you want to see well have a look at the videos uh, linked on the cards at the end thanks very much see you again soon cheers